Lesson 18 homework. Estimate the quotients for the following problems. The first one is done for you. So A did it for us. B. 2,109 divided by 23. I'm going to round 2,109 to 2,000. And 23, I'll round to 20. And 2,000 divided by 20 equals 100. Now, remember, we're estimating, and so your estimate could be different than mine. But as long as we're in the same ballpark and your answer is around 100, it should be correct. So there's more than one answer for all of these problems. C, 8,215 divided by 38. 8,215, I'm going to round that to 8,000. And 38, I'm going to round to 40. So 8,000 divided by 40. We can look at it as 8 divided by 4 is 2. Cancel out a 0, and we have two zeros left, so it's 200. D, 3,861 divided by 59. So 3,861, I'm going to round to, let's see, I'm thinking of my math facts again. So 59 is really close to 60, and so I'm trying to think of something that I can divide by 6. I can't divide 38 by 6, but I could do 36 by 6. So I'm going to round this to 3,600. Now, you could have rounded up to 4,000 maybe. But this is what I'm going to do. 3,600 divided by 60, and that is 60. 2,899 divided by 60. I'm going to round 2,899 to 3,000. Divided by 66, um, I'm just going to round that down to uh, 60 because I can do 30 divided by 6 is 5, cancel out a 0, so I'll get 50 as my estimate. F, 5,576 divided by 92. 92 is really close to 100, so I'm just going to go ahead and round that up to 100. 5,576, I'm going to round to... Let's just go up to 6,000. So 6,000 divided by 100 would be 60. 60 divided by 1 is 60. G, 5,086 divided by 73. 5,086, I'm going to round to... Let's see, again, thinking about my math facts, I have a 7 here. So if I round that to 70, what can I divide... And get a whole number. I can divide 49, which is really close to 50. So I'm going to round this to 4,900 divided by 70, and I'll get 70. H, 8,432 divided by 81. Hmm. Well, 81 and 84 are pretty close together. So I'm just going to round this to 8,100 divided by 81 and get 100. I, 9,032 divided by 89. This is really close to 90, and we have 90 right there. So I'm just going to round that to 9,000 divided by 90, and I'll get 100. J, 2,759 divided by 48. 48, probably went around that to 50. And I'm just going to make that 3,000 divided by 50. And 3,000 divided by 50 would be 60. Because we have 30 divided by 5 is 6. With a 0, 60. K, 8,194 divided by 91. So I see. 81 there and a 9. I can do 81 divided by 9. So let's just leave this as 8,100 divided by 90. 81 divided by 9 is 9. 1, 0 cancels out, so we have 90. I. 4,368 divided by 63. So this I could do 60. I can't do 43 divided by 60, but I could do 42 
divided by 6. So let's do 4,200 divided by 60. That would be 70. M. 6,537 divided by 74. So again, thinking of my math facts, if I were to round this to 70, what can I divide by 7? 65, I can't divide by 7. The closest would be 63 divided by 7. So I'm going to make this 6,300 divided by 70. We'll get 90. And 4,998 divided by 48. That's really close to 5,000. And this is close to 50. So 5,000 divided by 50 is 100. And oh, 6,106 divided by 25. I'm going to round, let's see, if I make that 6,000. And I could, I can't do 6,000 divided by 25 very easily, but I can do 6,000 divided by 30. Then 6 divided by 3 is 2, with two zeros, 200. Again, your answers could vary from what I have here, and that's fine as long as they're in the same ballpark estimate. Number 2. 91 boxes of apples had a, had a total of 2,605 apples. Assuming each box has about the same number of apples, estimate the number of apples in each box. So the total is 2,605 91 in each box. So what we're doing is 2,605 divided by 91, but it wants us to estimate. So this is close to 100. And I'm just going to make that 2,600. Because we can easily do 2,600 divided by 100, and we get 26. You could have also done it differently. Maybe you rounded this up to 3,000 and did 3,000 divided by 100. You'd get 30 apples, but it's still 30 is close to 26. Number three, a wild tiger can eat up to 55 pounds of meat in a day. About how many days would it take for a tiger to eat the following prey? So 55 pounds of meat in a day. So we have 1,754 pounds. I'm going to round this to 50 pounds. And I'm just going to go ahead and round that up to 2,000 pounds. So we'd have 2,000 divided by 50. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. And then these zeros will cancel out, so we'll get 40. So my estimate here is 40 days. The boar is 661 pounds. I'm going to round 661 pounds to 700 pounds divided by 50 pounds, and 70 divided by 5 is 14, and then these two zeros cancel out, so I'm going to estimate 14 days. For the deer, we have 183 pounds, which I'll round to 200, divided by 50. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and then the zeros will cancel out, so I'm going to estimate 4 days. And the water buffalo is 2,322 pounds. I'm going to round that to 2,000 divided by 50. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. These zeros cancel out, and I have one left. So we get 40 days. Again, your estimates could vary, but they should be somewhat close to what I've estimated here.